influence. That is to show you that God is the ultimate. Jesus said, I will, my peace I give to you, not as a world give to you, not as your possessions give to you, not as your riches and wealth give to you. My peace is different from what you are thinking that is peace. But abandoning castles, running away, leaving it and say, I don't want it anymore. Maybe it has now run to one small house. Run now. That's why someone said, all oh, is vanity. Let's come to God. He said you have departed and tried to make work and running from one job to another thinking that is where you want it. At the end, what should be the end? He said, I, the Lord, will create a hole that you'll be putting and it will just drop in. You're thinking that you are packing the money and putting it inside. Without knowing you are putting it in a in a a a a a, 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 a hole, a pocket that has been straightened gold, and you're just thinking and putting it. By the time you realize that this God have mercy upon us. When you put God first, He put you first. Jesus said, I am at the door. If you open, I come inside. If you don't open, I'm just at the door. When you open, I will come in. I will read some more. I will just go uh, three days then. Uh, we have to pray. But before then, let's have a, a worship song. Let's praise the Lord for his goodness and kindness. This is the month of March. This is the third month of the year 2022. You can imagine last time we were talking about now. Now we are March. That means the first quarter is going. And today is second. Before you know it, it's finished. So let's open up our hands. Let's sing to the Lord to the Lord. Let's sing one of the hands of the Lord. Oh God, who is there? Give us a song, please. Oh who, is, who is there? Give us a song. Reverend, give us a song. Because you are one of the, during your time, one of the Christians in your church. Give us a nice song. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord is God is your name. Yes, yeah, that's, that's powerful. It's your name. Who is that demonic assignment that can be able to, on 
understand uh, that can be able to stand against your God. Uh, the Bible says to this, I say that uh, from today, nobody, nobody can stand you. No powers can withstand you. No waters can stand you. Because I am in charge of your life. Uh, when God takes absolute control of your life, uh, victory is assured. Uh, victory is granted. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, so shall it be upon your life and your home and your family. That from today, God will show himself greatly. He will show that he is the mighty one in battle. He is the one that is in charge. And he will grant you victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus said to them, are you with us or are you against us? Say, I am the army of Israel. If you are with me, show me that you are with me. They must threat. Do the signing, do the king, do the things, so that I will know that you are on my side. Hallelujah. Let's open up our Bible to Exodus. Exodus, Exodus, Exodus. Let's open up our Bible to Exodus. La bala, 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 bala. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, there is no one like you. Exodus 33. Exodus 33. From verse 12. Exodus 33 from verse 12. The Bible said in Exodus 3, 12, the Bible said, Then Moses said to the Lord, See, you said to me, Bring up these people, but you have not let me know. Whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name. And you have also found grace in my sight. Now therefore, I pray, if I have found grace in your sight, Show me now your way that I may know you and that I may find grace in your sight. And consider that this nation is your people. He said, 14, he said, and he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Then was he said to him, then he said to him, if your presence does not go with us, do not bring us up from here. For how then will it be known that you are that you, you are people and I have found grace in your sight, except you go with us. He said, so we shall be separate. So we shall be separate, your people and I, from all the people who are upon the face of the earth. If you have called me, if you are your own, let people see it, that you are my God. If I have found grace in your sight, let people see it. I don't need to continue explaining myself to people. I don't need to go and tell people how God has blessed me. I don't need to go and tell them that 
that you have given me a good health. I don't need to go and tell them how you are. Let them see it and know that this one is of the Lord. That's one thing. Let them know that we are your people. So that wherever we go, you are going with us. Wherever I am, you are with us. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it in your presence. Sir. So that people will know that we are for you. Our prayer tonight is that God make me different. Sir. I don't need to look like other ones. Sir. If I'm for you, I need to be seen by that I am for you. I don't need to explain myself that I am a child of God. Sir. I don't need to continue going and knocking when I'm a believer. I am not a believer of Jesus Christ. I want people to see it and know that I am for you. I am a believer. I am a born again. I am the one of choosing ones. Because you say I have chosen you. And if you have chosen me from your own, let me be like that. Let people see it in me. Let them see the blessings of you in my, my life. Let them see it when they around me. Let them see it in my home. Let them see it in my job. Let them see it in everything concerning me and my family. Let them see that this family is God's family. Let them see this man, this woman, is a God's child and daughter. He's a God's son and daughter. Let them see this marriage is in the hand of God. Let them see these children. They have been given to God. That even though in the way they are schooling, even though in the academic grammar, they will see that this are different from the rest. Uh. They will see it through every other area of their life. Uh. They will see it academically. They will see it sportly. They will see it in behavior. They will see it in their character. They will know that this is different. He said, if we, then you have to separate us. When people see it, they will know that we are different. And by God's grace, if you look around, nobody will tell you these people are different. You will see it and you know, yes, these people, they are different. That is what they have prayed. And God did you say, I will do more than you have asked. The Bible said, then, so the Lord said to Moses, I will also do this Thing. God said to Moses, but he said, so the Lord said to Moses, I will also do this thing that you have spoken, for you have found grace in my sight. And I know you I know you by name. Hallelujah. And he said, Please show me your grace. He said, I will make all my goodness pass before you. And I will proclaim your name. When God is on your side, when God is fighting your battle, when God is doing all the same, you don't need to explain to people. You cannot be telling people because it's meant for them to see it. The blessing of the Lord can never be hidden. The Bible said the light shines and darkness could not comprehend it. The blessing of the Lord is light. It says nothing that can overshadow light. Even though it is in a deep forest, and one small light comes in, everybody will know that light has shone in. That is how the life of children of God should be. If God said, if you are for me, then let them be different. Let them see it in me. Let them see it upon the life of my children. Let me see it in my business. Let them see it in my career. Let them see it in everything that concerns me. And God said, I will do it as you have spoken. I don't know, maybe tonight you have not spoken and asked God, I want to be different. But our prayer tonight is that God has to show himself that I want to be different. I want to be seen as a child of God. I want to be seen as a woman, as a son, as a daughter, as a father, as a friend, whatsoever of God. That God, this is according.
according to the word of God, Moses reminded and asked for it. The Bible said, I have given you a mouth that no one can resist or not with the No one can contradict it as you are talking. But in the same point, he said, I have given you a mouth, but you refuse to say it. You refuse to open up your mouth. When you open up your mouth and speak, God answers whatever you have asked of him. Just like Moses asked you, and he said, I will do it as you have spoken. Let us open up our mouth tonight. As I said, no much preaching, but we are going to be into prayer. There have to be a shift, there have to be a difference. So that people will see it and know. Every Wednesday we are online. Every Friday we are online. Every Sunday we are online. The people have to know that you have make up com that commitment to yourself because it's part of commitment in the things of God. And for people to see it, they have to see the hand of God in your life and in everything you do. And they will know that that commitment you are committing your time and everything that God has given to you to serve Him is not in vain because God has to prove Himself upon your life. Say, if we have found friends, let us let, let us separate us. Let people see it. Don't mix us. Let's open up our mouth and thank God. Let's open up our mouth and thank God. Tonight is that prayer that this month. It will not end just like that small they say when the world has ended and we are into a new month. We want to see the difference. We want to be with this day in every month, in every day in our life. We want to be seeing the grace of God and the manifestation, manifestation of God in our life every day, every minute, every second. That we are you don't need to be explaining, say, let us do the difference, say, let us. We cannot be the same, remaining the same. There have to be a shift, there have to be a change. So that people will see it and know, yes, indeed, it's not in vain. Because he said, our servant is not in vain. He said to Jesus, I say, no one is can be saved from today. Let it be our prayer. Saving from today, there will be a shift. Let there be a change. So that people will see it and know that it's the hand of the God of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yet in the doing of the Lord, it's not by any man, it's not by any other thing. But this is the finger of God. This is the hand of God. In every area of your life, wherever, whatever you are believing God, in every area, whatever you are believing God, whatever you are believing God. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth and start demanding for it just as Moses demanded. Open up your mouth and you say, I pray, don't say, I pray. The if, 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 if I have found grace, let me call different. Let me see it. I don't need to be asking, people don't need to be asking me. I don't need to go around and tell people about the place of God in my life. I don't want to be telling them how God has blessed me. I don't need to go around and tell them I am a believer of this. I want them to see it and know that I am a believer of Jesus Christ. I want them to see it and know that my blessings is from the Lord. I want them to see it and know that I have been held in. It's not just by my power, but by him that that God made, by him that I suffer, he has kept me, he has protected me, he has kept my family, he has kept my job. When there is all this crisis, it's not about the whole world, but it's about the peace of the world. That you don't need to drive your peace from the world, but you draw your peace from the earth of the My peace coming from the above. It's not by any manner, because you see how things is happening now. That means
is in your mind if your pizza is being hung on the petrola and now it's going up, your peace will go. If it's in the buying case, if it's the things of the shopper that you just go, oh no, these things are very cheaper and you are buying it now, the prices are changing now. Now it will drive your peace away. If you are driving your peace from what you see around now, and now things is changing now, that means your peace will famous. But I'm here to tell you, let the peace be of the peace of the Lord. And Jesus said, My peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gave. In the mighty name of Jesus, open up your mouth and pray. And say, Lord, from tonight, let make me different from others. Let my family different from others. Separate us, O God. Separate my job from others. Separate everything about me. So that people will see it and know that this is the doing of the Lord. I don't need to continue explaining myself. But let your hand upon my life. Uh, let it become the signature of the attention of attraction. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, without attraction, there will be no attention. Uh, so that I pray that there will be a grand attention. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, because when something attraction is there, there will be attention to focus on it. Uh, I pray to let in the life of somebody that there will be attraction that bring attention. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, when things happen, happen uh, there will be no attention to that. Uh, when Jesus said to Peter, Lord, Lord, launch into the deep, uh, and when he launched into the deep, uh, the Bible said there was a difference, uh, and it draws attention. Uh, that is the attraction that brings attention. Uh, and I pray tonight, uh, there will be, in the name of Jesus, uh, that attraction over somebody's life. Uh, there will be that attraction into somebody's home. Uh, there will be that attraction uh, that will draw attention uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. A uh, good attention uh, that now people will say that. Uh, and those who have mocked you, they will know that it's not by power, it's not by mind, it's not by intelligence, uh, it's not by beauty, it's not by short or taller. But it's by in the Lord uh, that created the heaven and earth. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, in the name of Jesus, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Uh, and say, Lord, from tonight, uh, I want to be separated from the rest. Uh, everything about me, I want it to be separated from the rest. Uh, I don't want to just look at everybody. I want to be different. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power, for the Holy Spirit. Uh, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Uh, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Uh, Open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, uh. open up your mouth. Uh. Enough is enough. Uh. I am enough, enough is enough. Uh. That complaint is not enough. Uh. That complaint is enough. Uh. Because complaint cannot take you anywhere. So that complaint is enough. Uh. In the name of Jesus, uh. that sympathy is enough. Uh. Because it cannot take you anywhere. Because our God don't deal uh, on emotional fitness, uh, but our God deals with father. Uh, and he deal by the opening of your mouth. Uh, and he deal by your demand and request. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, as you open up your mouth and ask, uh, he said, I will give. Uh, he said, ask it to be given. Uh, he said, not it to be opened. Uh, he said, seek and you will find. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, until you wake up to seek, uh, until you stand to knock, uh, until you are ready to find. Uh, because without knocking, you will not find. Uh, it will not be opened. Uh, without seeking, you will not find. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, without speaking, it will not be done. Uh, in the mighty in the name of Jesus, for the Bible says that God said to Moses, I will do as you have spoken. I will do it as you have spoken. In the name of Jesus, if Moses has not asked, it wouldn't have been done. If Moses didn't ask God, it wouldn't have been done. But because he asked, and God said, I will do as you have spoken, I will do it. As you open up your mouth and talk to God, as you open up your mouth and pray to God, he said, I will do it according to your request. He said, I will do it according to to your prayer. He said, I will do it uh, in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh.
La bala, 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 la Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. As your children open up their mouth to speak, as you open up their mouth to answer, let it be heard and let it be done. In the name of Jesus, He said, I have given you a mouth that no one can resist it, no one can contradict it. Whatever you speak tonight, it cannot be contradicted, it cannot be resisted. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power, by the Holy Spirit, He said, I have given you a mouth. If you open it wider, I will fill it up. If you open it wider, I will fill it up. In the name of Jesus, He said, I am waiting for you to open up your mouth, and I will fill it up by answering your prayer. He will answer your prayer as you open up your mouth tonight. God will ask a prayer. It's a prayer answering God. He will answer according to your spoken word. He will move according to your spoken word. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. La vale bala le bala bala la in la vale vale bala le bala le in the name of Jesus by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit oh Lord if I have found grace in your sight tonight oh Lord make me different make my calling different make my ministry different make my home different in the name of Jesus if I have found grace in your sight make my children different make the book of my hand different in the name of Jesus the old Lord is blessing for that he said I am the Lord that give a pretty to great wealth if I have found grace in your sight oh Lord give me the wisdom give me the understanding and knowledge it to great wealth in the mighty name of Jesus oh heavenly for I pray Lord tonight in your name oh Lord I bow before you and I pray Lord if I have found grace in your sight Make me different uh, from the rest, O oh Lord. Uh, separate me, O oh Lord, uh, from the rest, O oh Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. La uh, bala bala la bala la. Ye le 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 le. Ye le 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 le. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes Lord, yes Lord. La bala bala la bala la. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Leva la lelea. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see somebody moving from nowhere to somewhere. I see somebody being lifted from nowhere to somewhere. I see somebody, somebody destined and rising and shining uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I saw that mountain uh, that has blocked your fuel. I saw it being leveled uh, in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, as your workers are coming back, uh, they are coming back to pay for you. Those ones that have called you names, uh, they are coming back to say, I am sorry. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, those that have mistaken you and they have called you all kind of names, uh, they have tried to change your name, uh, but now they have found out that you are unchangeable. Uh, your name is unchangeable uh, because God said, I knew you before you are even from your mother's womb. Uh, I know your name, uh, and somebody tried to change it. Uh, but now they are fine that is unchangeable. Your name is unchangeable. Your destiny is unchangeable. They cannot change it. Because why? You are a daughter of God. Because you are a son of God. Because your mother is hand of God. Because your hope is in God's hand. They cannot change it. They cannot manipulate it. They cannot destroy it. Because the Bible said that. If you put your trust in me, you will not fail. In the name of Jesus, when your trust is in God, you will never fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, la bale bala le bale, la bale bale le. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, open up your mouth and say, Lord, give me a very care to hear you. It's been a long time. All things I tried to do. I find myself making mistakes. I try to see if I can correct it. But I find myself going deeper and deeper into the same mistake. But from tonight, oh Lord, 
give me a hearing ear, sir, so that I will not fall into that deep again. I will not fall into that deep again. In the name of Jesus, sir. Oh, Lord, the blessing, Father. Change me tonight. Sir. Let there be a difference sir, between me and the rest. Sir. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, sir. open up your mouth. 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 Sir. In the name of Jesus, sir. by the power and by the authority of God. Lava, 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 lava. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, all the people see the hand of God upon your life, all the they see the manifestation of God, they are with the taking how can this be, but I'm here to tell you that with God all things are possible. I want them to say it, and just as it will shepherd said to Solomon, he said, I have heard about you, I have listened about you, but now my eyes I see, I can see by my, my eyes, so that people will see the blessings of the Lord, come upon your life with your eyes, they don't need to say I can't, but they will see the manifestation of God's hand in your life, they will see the open doors, they will see the success, they will see the love life, uh, they will see the happiness, uh, they will see the joy of the Lord upon your life, uh, they will see the open doors uh, of God in your life, uh, and they will know it's the doing of the Lord, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, just as the queen said to Solomon, uh, he said, I have had a report, uh, I have heard about you, but now my eyes can see, I can see the blessings of the Lord, uh, now my eyes can see the blessings of the Lord upon your life, upon your family. My, now my eyes can see. I have tried to imagine, but then now I can see with my own eyes that with God all things are possible. There is no impossibility in our God because He can do all things. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, He is changing destiny tonight. He is touching lives tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I don't know where you are watching me from, but God is touching your life tonight. He is ministering to you right now. In the name of Jesus, in that very area, if the Bible says He knows a way where there seems to be no way, when you have tried your own strength, when you have done all kinds of things, when you have tried as you can, but now God is taking charge because He is taking you to another level. In the mighty name of Jesus, you might have been walking around with a reporter, a report of every reporter, but the Bible says, Whose reporter shall you believe? Is it what the God is saying? Or that what human being brought? He said, I am God that will make all things are possible. There is nothing I cannot do. There is nothing God cannot do. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, He will do it for your life. And the people will see that give Him glory. He said, I will do this, and you will glorify my name. He said, Call upon my name in the times of your need. A lot of people are in need, sir. But they have forgotten to call the name of the Lord. They have been crying on their own. But they have forgotten to call on the name of the Lord. But the Bible says in Psalm 50, 15, He said, Call upon my name. In the time of your labor, come upon my name. In the times of your troubles, come upon my name. In the times of your challenges, and I, the Lord, I will answer you. I will do greater and mightier things in your life, and you will give me glory. In the name of Jesus, God is ready to do it so that you will give him glory. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. La Valeva, La Valeva, let every day come by and day. Open up your mouth, 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 in the name of Jesus, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Tonight is 
Cease your mind. Cease your time. Open up your mouth. In the name of Jesus, open up your mouth and say, Lord, this month, it shall not be just like last month. In the name of Jesus, for his word said, that all things have been done in the month of In the name of Jesus, for his word said, that all things have passed away. All the things have become new. All things have become new. And I will do a new thing in your life. This month of March, God will do a new thing in your life. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, as His word said, the Creator shall be greater than the former. This month of March, things will start working well for you. It shall be more better for you. It shall work wonderfully for you. In the name of Jesus, in every area of your life, there will be a change for good. There will be a plan around. There will be a visitation. In the name of Jesus, because He's taking you from that no place to some place. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, from nobody to somebody, from today, up to your name, it shall start ringing bell, because the attraction that brings attention is about to hit your home, it's about to manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, La bale bala ne bala ne, ya la ne la ne ne. In the name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, He said, "I will do a new thing in your life." This month of March. Beginning from today, starting from now, God in His Spirit will do something new and perform wonders in your life, in your home, in your family, in your job, in your health, in everything concerning you. God will do something new and powerful in the mighty name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, this month of March, do something greatly in my life. Do something wonderfully in my life. Do something gloriously upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray. Open up your mouth and pray that this month of March, let God do something glorious. Let Him do something powerful. Let Him do something great. Something wonderful. Something marvelous. In the name of Jesus, that this month of March, la bale bala bela. In the name of Jesus, open up your mouth and pray that this month of March, this month of March, this month of March, you want. To see God in a different level, in the name of Jesus, that in this world, the Bible said, though, the, 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 the prophet, he said to God, open the eyes of my servant, so that he will see and pray for that, that this world of matter, God will open your eyes in the mighty name of Jesus, open up your mouth and pray that this world of matter, this world, this world we are in. You want to see the greatness of God upon your life. You want to see it. You want to see it. You want to describe it. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, grant me this money. No, grant this night, oh God. Starting from tonight, let there be a difference. In the name of Jesus, that this book of matter, my God and my God, grant me this money.
by the blood of Jesus. I call against them by the blood of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray. Because he said, I have opened a door for you all. But I can see resistance. Open up your mouth and any, any power, any projection of the enemy trying to encounter your blessings, your prayer tonight. You find them in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray. Open up your mouth and pray. As he said, hey, better doors has been opened. But I can see a resistance. I can see adversaries. Who are the adversaries? It's those that are trying to block you. That those try to enter you. Don't try to limit you. Don't try to squeeze you. Don't try to kill you. That is the adversary, sir. Because I have seen a door. I have opened it. But there is a resistance, sir. Open up your mouth tonight, sir. That every door that God has opened for your life is gone. It shall not be closer. No power shall resist you. No spoken word. No traditional causes. Nothing of the enemy will have the heart to resist you. In the name of Jesus, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. And you pray tonight. The Bible says when the farmer sows, and he went to sleep, and the enemy come to throw a turn in his farm. But tonight, that anything that will try to rise against your prayer tonight, let the hand of the Lord destroy them in the name of Jesus. Anything that will try to get a counterfeit, let God destroy them in the name of Jesus. Any manipulation that try to manipulate you, let God destroy them in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and pray. Open up your mouth and pray. Anything that fight against you, open doors. In this month of March, let there be a good day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray. 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 That any power that is trying to rewrite the report of God concerning your life, let there be deleted. Let there be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. La ba le ba le ba le ba la le ba la ba la. Open up your mouth, 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 open up your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Open up your mouth and thank God for answering your prayer. Open up your mouth and thank God. Open up your mouth and thank God. Return all the glory to Him. It's a prayer answering God. Say, Lord, I thank you for answering my prayer tonight. I thank you for your have done it. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for answering my prayer. For the Bible says, say to Moses, as you have spoken, I have done it, I will do more. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. And thank God for answering your prayer. Open up your mouth and thank God. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Return all the glory to Him. Return all the honor to Him. Return all the praise and return all the worship to God. For the Bible says He will not share His glory with any man. He said, I am a jealous God. I will not share my glory. Return all the glory to the land that I am. Return all the glory to the mighty one of Israel. Return all the glory to Him. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, return all the glory to Him. The Alpha and Omega, return all the glory to Him. The Jehovah Sabota, return all the glory to Him. The Jehovah Adonai, return all the glory to Him. The Jehovah Shama, return all the glory to Him. The Jehovah Nisi, return all the glory to Him. The mighty one of Israel, return all the glory to Him. Return all the glory, return all the glory to God. Return all the glory to God. Thank you, Lord. For answering our prayer tonight, but I will thank you with place your holy name, faithful and awesome God. We return all the glory to you, Lord. We return all the honor to you for answering our prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank God, thank God that your prayer has been answered. But I thank you, O Lord, for answering our prayer. But I thank you. We thank you with place your holy name, faithful and awesome God. We return all the glory to you in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. Jesus. My Redeemer. Mm. God is taking away sorrows in somebody's life tonight. God is taking away. He's taking away sorrows. He's taking away sorrows. That evil Lord is being uplifted out of somebody's life tonight in the name of Jesus. 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 That demonic load that the enemy has placed upon somebody's head will be kind and attacking and then trying to suffocate you. But God is taking that evil load away from somebody tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But I thank you, bless your own name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Friday is gonna be another powerful night. Friday is a night of of uh, 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 prayer manifestation. It's a prayer that breaks every battle. It's a deliverance night. It's a powerful night. Friday night. Call, invite anybody with any issue. Invite whatsoever that is the issue. Invite that very person. Bring that person before our God. And God will prove himself before that situation. Friday will be another night by God's grace. And I know that by Friday, somebody is coming to the testament because God will do it. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace. Meanwhile, as we are living, keep putting men and women of God in your prayers. Keep on putting our Papa the prophet in your prayer. You do a great job. And also pray for our members. Pray for every family. Pray for the community. Pray for the Ukraine people and the Russia. Let there be peace. Let God restore peace between Ukraine and Russia. Because this war might look as a little, it might look as small, but it might blow whereby people, where I say anyway, I'm safe here. Now it became unsafe. So let's pray. Let there be peace. Because everybody knows what enemy can do. Satan can capitalize in the small thing. It doesn't start big. It starts in the small thing. And when that small thing starts, before you know it, it starts going wider and wider. And before you close it, it becomes a bit difficult. It might cost more. So let's keep on listening them in our prayers. Let God bring peace between these people. Let this war come to an end. Let this battle come to an end because if it continues it might take more time to more encourage more people to more claim more lives to more claim while do a lot of things that was unimaginable so let's pray as Christians let God show up so that they can be peace they love on both sides so that they are shown in their soul inside and rest peace in the name of Jesus Amen. Let us share the grace. Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. God bless. God bless you all. I
uh, they are trying to laugh, uh, but there's something inside them uh, and come and block their laugh, uh, and they are trying to push themselves to laugh, uh, and as, as much as they are trying, uh, you will see the more suppression they are being suppressed, uh, and they find it difficult to laugh. Uh. It's not that they don't like to laugh, uh, it's just because something is undermining their laughter, something is undermining their happiness, uh, something is undermining their joy, something is working against them, uh. something is not well, uh. and they are trying not that they don't want to be well. Uh. I believe everybody wants to be well, uh. everybody wants to look good, uh. everybody wants to do well, uh. but God in his unity, that is his purpose and mind concerning mankind, uh. but the enemy comes, uh, know that it will not work well, uh. that is why they said when this Farmer sows uh, and sleeps, the enemy comes at night and so turns uh, so that he will scatter what he has sown. Uh, but I believe tonight, uh, God is removing all those turns in somebody's life. Uh, God is removing those stagnation and limitation. Uh, God is taking away that sickness, uh, that thing that has tried to undermine your happiness, uh, and you find yourself being capable. Uh, to eat and buy anything you want, uh, but something somewhere uh, has brought something into your life uh, that now has limited your ability to enjoy your life. Uh, why? Because then it has sown uh, something into your life. Uh, God say, I know you, I know you by your name. But the enemy has tried to change your name. Uh. They have tried to do all kinds of things. Uh. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus said that I have come, I have come to give you life and give it to you in abundance. He said, Satan come to kill, to steal, to destroy. But I, the Lord, has come to give you life and give it to you in abundance. That is the mind of God concerning your life. That is the purpose of God concerning your life. That is the will of God concerning your life. Uh, that you will do well. Uh, that you will live healthy. That you will prosper and succeed. Uh, but the enemy tried to undermine all those things. Uh, so that he will pick you, put you in perpetual poverty. So that he will put you in perpetual sadness. Uh, so that he will put you in perpetual nowhere. So that he will hold you down. Uh, but that we have to tell you tonight. Uh, that whatsoever they have pulled against you, whatever they have used to suppress you, whatever they have used to cover you, tonight by the name that's above in front of us, I command that evil fail to be torn and destroyed uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, because Jesus said, I am the way, I am the light, I am the life. Because when Jesus is in your life, uh, every power is bow. So many people are wrestling with all kinds of things. Uh, because Jesus said, I am at the door. And when you not, when you open, I will come inside. Uh, I'm here to tell you tonight. Uh, Open your door for Christ to come in. Uh. Open your door for Christ to come in. Uh. Because he said the peace I will give to you. Not just like the one the worldly one peace gives. Uh, but my peace is special. Uh. So many people are trying with the peace of uh, God. They are trying to have peace outside the world peace of God. Uh. They are trying to have enjoyment outside the enjoyment of God. Uh. They are trying to do all kinds of things with their strength and mind. Uh. But I'm here to tell you. Until you have the same the spirit of God uh, until you receive the peace of God uh, and that's the peace that is permanent uh, but through all that peace is not peace uh, because anything that gives you peace out of the peace of God uh, that thing can vanish and it can disappear and that means your peace will also disappear if your peace in your position in your possession uh, your possession might be hammered and hampered uh, and those things will disappear but I'm here to tell you it's only Christ uh, that gives you peace and it is permanent. Hallelujah. Permanent peace. When God gives you peace, it's permanent. Peace of God. Peace of Jesus is permanent. He said, my peace I give to you. My peace I live with you. Not as a world gives. Worldly peace is a peace of stable peace. A peace that is unstable. But when God gives you peace, it's permanent peace. May the peace of the Lord reign upon your life, upon your home, upon your, your work, upon your marriage, upon your children, upon your life. You, let the peace of the Lord reign upon your life in the name of Jesus. That whatsoever that hold you back, 
hold you down. I command that hand to be lifted out of your life in the name of Jesus. May the Lord remember you as you open up your mouth and pray. May the Lord answer you. As you lift up your hand before him, may he bless you. As you walk in his presence, may he take you to a higher level. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God bless you. That sickness that they have diagnosed you and give you an evil report. May the Lord rewrite that report and give you his own report. Because he said, whose report will you believe? Believe in the report of God concerning your life. For God said, good health is a portion of God's children. It's your portion. Good health is for you. Good health is for you. Good health is for you. Anything that will deny you from enjoying your possession, your prosperity, your wealth, I stand as a servant of God and I cause that evil that has come to deny you from having the peace of mind to enjoy the blessings of God in your life. From tonight, may you live and enjoy the blessings of God. May your faith be written so that God is on your side. May you be blessed and remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Friday, there will be another level on Friday. Come, call everybody. Call people on your contacts. Ask them that, tell them that the reverend is coming with another bank on Friday. Don't miss it. Whatsoever you are believing God, anything, 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 my Bible made it concerned with God, all things are possible. And Jesus said in the news, He said, I have given you power and authority, and I have given you the key of the kingdom of heaven. That whatsoever you decree and declare, so shall it be. Bring that thing before my God. Come with that thing before my God. Invite them so that whatsoever that the enemy has tried to steal, to destroy, to kill in their life. God, my God, has come to give you life and give it to you in abundance. He is a God of light, of love. I pray that the light of God can shine upon your life and every form of darkness will disappear. From tonight, may you have encounter with the Spirit of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shalom. 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 Friday, 8 to 9. Friday, 8 to 9. Put it in your diary. Put it in everything that can remind you that Reverend is coming back on Friday, 8 to 9 p.m. Shalom. Thank you.
Ah, you want to know the meaning of the song? Don't worry, I'll be asking him later on. Feel the beats, and I know that. Donald, tell us what does it mean? <laughs> I just know I love it. I know it's gospel songs. Nigeria Ego, gospel. Thank you so much for all the selections here tonight. You know, if you're not happy, nobody else can be happy for you. You know that, eh? I tell you, them 1000 talk show, your number one talk show, right down in town. Yes, you are listening to Reverend Iroy Agui of Ultimate Charismatic Center. You can always come to his um, church as well. It's a center, yeah. I've really, really learned a lot here tonight, and I'm just going to be giving a summary shortly. The summary here tonight. Beauty comes from your creator as well. Pray and ask him. Tell him all your, all the things you want him to do for you. Me, yeah, I've seen his grace anyway. Let me talk about my God. My God is graceful to me. That's why I sing for him. Oh yes, so. I'm going to play one of my favorite here tonight before we leave here tonight. I'm going to play one of my favorite songs as well. That's all. Remember all the people in Ukraine and of course those who are trying to flee. Let's keep them all in our prayers, every humanity, you know, the whole human race, anybody who is there. I just remember every single person there. So let's just continue praying for everyone. Let's pray for issues and topics around the world. No one should be persecuted for who they are. Peace around the world. Can I also celebrate Professor Momo Muchi? And of course, what is happening? Let's celebrate Ethiopia 126 years of Adwa. And it is 126 years of celebration of the Pan African movement for the Ethiopians, where they won. You know, the war was really, really fought. You know, uh, Ethiopia was one country that was never colonized. So, 126 years. Um, celebrations. I'm joining in those celebrations tonight here in Parliament Square as well. They turned up and um, I am absolutely delighted um, and well done to the Ethiopian community. Thank you always for fighting for the rights um, uh, of Africans on top of your country. Thank you for fighting for uh, the rights of Africans as well. We really appreciate you and um, it's absolutely amazing. Yes, I want to celebrate Professor uh, Professor Mohamed.
Gucci, thank you so much. And of course, Gabriel as well. And all the kings and chiefs and all the, the people who really love us, you know, with all our identity. I celebrate your princes and queens and kings and, you know, you're special here tonight. I love it, Donald. Yeah, I'm feeling it here tonight. <laughs> Thank you for that share. When you're happy, you glow, you know. Yes, so have a beautiful month this month, everyone. Just remember, the topic here today is I am available. Be available to your creator. If you can be available to your friends, to every other person, remember, I am available to my creator, to your creator. Don't forget that one. I'm going to play one beautiful song here tonight. The one that I really want to play is, I just feel oh, this one here tonight. I want to play this one for you here tonight. I'm going to skip that. I've got the advert here, so I'm going to play this one here for you. I just love this song. Let's go. Kenya, 
Karibuni sana. Oh yes, Ndirango we went to school with Adebola Atole Atoloye. Lovely to see you. And she also does a lot of community programs. Don't be broken heart. Take your problems to your creator as well. Do it like me. Let's go here tonight. Sending greetings to my sister over here right now. Penina Mahapila, thank you so much. Thank you, God, for blessing us. Celebrating our lives here tonight. Thank you so much to my creator. Happy month of March, everybody. I just hope I'm brightening your month here, this month of March. Tarela as well. This month is really busy as well. We've got um, International Women's Day, so keep an eye on that. I've also got um, another program which um, our wonderful um, Tarela is running that program. That program is called She's Worth It, and I'm one of the key speakers to that one as well. So don't forget loads of programs this month here, everyone. Ah, you love it, love it, love it. Ah, I cannot have enough of that song. I just love that song here tonight. The same God yesterday, today, and always. It's the same God. I just want to remember what um. Reverend was saying here tonight, and you know, it reminds me um, that um, we need to be available to our Creator all the time. So that is really something special, you know. You know, I'm available. How many times do we ever think that we're available whenever He needs us? You know, many a times we even sometimes even run away. You know, our faith is not that strong. Hey, there's enough. Huh? Let our faith be strong. Because I know when your faith is strong, abundance comes into you. Thank you so much. Let me see who. Um, Ukraine. 
Thank you so much. I just feel that warmth in this house here tonight. If you're here tonight, my program is all about abundance and gratitude. My program is all about community development. My program is all about learning and sharing. My program is all about you and me. My program is all about love. You are in the house of love here tonight. Thank you all for popping in here tonight. I'm absolutely loving it here tonight. Thank you so much for joining in here tonight. I want to just appreciate all of you here tonight for joining in here tonight. And we're going to just play one more song here tonight. And um, just remember all of you here tonight. Um, tonight's subject which reminds us about the blessing of God is attraction that draws attention. I just love that here tonight. And I just feel that that is going to just attract this month because God attraction draws attention. I love that. That is something that really was so beautiful here tonight. So, I hope you've learned something here tonight. And I just want to appreciate every single one of you. Can I appreciate Wakavi here tonight? Thank you so much for joining in, Wakavi. It's lovely to see you here tonight. Why, Naina? Hey, Jega, lovely to see you here tonight. Asanteni, from whichever part of the town that you're in. Asanteni, I salute you here tonight. So good night from us here tonight. You see everything? Even the deepest secret in ourselves? Expose every evil. Consume every wickedness. Come and manifest yourself. You got fire in your heart, everyone. Thank you all for joining African Wonder Woman. At J&M 1000 Talk Show, your number one talk show. Right down in town, Asantani. Ah, look at this one. Kenyans have to give me another one. Ah. Come and manifest yourself, consuming fire. Ah, it doesn't have any. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Can I send greetings to my nephew, Junior? Lovely to see you as well. Thank you so much, and all my cousins here tonight. Yes, God is attraction that draws attention. Mm -hmm. Set my soul on fire, everyone. Set your soul on fire, everyone. Speak through my voice. Let's honor him most. When you trust in him, he never lets you down. I can guarantee you that. I'm available for my creator. I love to preach the gospel as well. I love to testify. Because I know his action speaks through my deeds. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, and I love to promote inclusion as well. Don't forget, if you haven't registered to vote, make sure you register to vote, especially for UK here, um, there is local elections in May, around um, the 5th of uh, May, so ensure you vote. Let's select good leaders here tonight. We're going to be leaving here tonight. Thank you so much for joining me here tonight. I love this. 
Hey, hey, hey. You are the only one. Hey, hey. Let's remember my brother as well. Keep praying for us, all of us. Thank you so much, Reverend. Everybody enjoy the gospel here tonight. Keep praying for him and his family as well. Keep praying for me as well. Thank you for blessing me here tonight. I just want to leave you with the word of saying, attract goodness in your life, attract good responsibility in your life, attract and manifest the best in your life, attract what it is you want to attract, attract abundance. I leave you with that everyone. Copyright music does not belong to us here tonight. Ah, you can't finish like that. Face yourself. I love this space here tonight.